Now let's talk about how to graph quadratic functions using a table. So let's start with y is equal to x squared. For this graph, we know that the vertex is going to be at 0. It's centered at the origin. So what you need to do is pick two points to the right of the vertex and two points to the left. The left side is going to have the same y values as the right side. For instance, if you plug in 1, 1 squared and negative 1 squared, they both equal the same thing, positive 1. If you plug in 2 squared, you're going to get 4. If you plug in negative 2 squared, you're going to get negative 4. Because they're equally distant about the vertex, these two points will have the same y value, and the other two points will also have the same y value. And then you could plot it. So the vertex is at the origin. We have the point 1, 1 and negative 1, comma 1. And then we have the point 2, 4 and negative 2, 4. And then we can graph it. Now, what is the domain of this function? And what's the range? The domain is all of the possible x values, all the values that x can be. And for quadratic functions, there's no limitation on x. X can be anything, so it's going to be from negative infinity to infinity. It's all row numbers. If you analyze the graph from the left side, x the, the graph starts all the way from the left, and it keeps going towards the right. As it travels to the right, it keeps going up. Now, the range has restrictions. The range represents all of the y values. The lowest y value is 0, and the highest is infinity. So therefore, the range is from 0 to infinity. And since 0 is included, we're going to use brackets. For parentheses, I mean for infinity, you should always use parentheses. The vertex for this graph is the origin, 0, 0. And what is the axis of symmetry? Sometimes you might get questions on this. The axis of symmetry is basically the x-coordinate of the vertex. It's x equals 0. If you draw the axis of symmetry, notice that the right side is symmetric across that line. Now, anytime a graph opens upward, it has a minimum value. The minimum value is basically the y-coordinate of the vertex. The lowest y value is 0. Now, let's talk about graphing a quadratic function in vertex form using a table. In vertex form, here's the general equation y is equal to a x minus h squared plus k. The vertex is h comma k. So let's make a table. The first thing we want to do is find the coordinates of the vertex. So you got to change this sign. If you see a 1, make a negative 1. Whatever sign is out here, don't change it. The vertex is negative 1, negative 3. Now choose two points to the right of the vertex and two points to the left and then find the y values. Now keep in mind, negative 2 and 0, because they're equally distant from the vertex, they will share the same y values. The same is true for negative 3 and 1. That's why you want to set it up this way. It requires less work to graph it. So let's plug in 0. When x is 0, what is the value of y? 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So when x is 0 or negative 2, y is going to be negative 2. Now, what about when x is 1? 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. And 4 minus 3 is 1. So that's it. Now let's go ahead and graph it. Let's start with the vertex, which is negative 1, negative 3. Then we have the point 0, negative 2, and negative 2, negative 2. Next is 1, 1, and negative 3, 1. So 
So that's the graph. Now go ahead and find the domain, the range, the axis of symmetry, the maximum or the minimum value, and that's about it. So the domain for any quadratic functions is all row numbers, negative infinity to infinity. Now for the range, let's identify the lowest y value, which is basically the y coordinate of the vertex. It's negative 3, and the highest is infinity. So the range is from negative 3 to infinity, including negative 3. The axis of symmetry is simply the x coordinate of the vertex. So the AOS is x is equal to negative 1. That's how you write it. And because the graph opens upward, there's going to be a minimum value, which is the y coordinate of the vertex. The minimum value is negative 3. The location of the minimum value is x equals negative 1. The x value represents the location. The y value represents the minimum value, or sometimes the maximum value, if the graph opens downward. Now let's work out one more example. Let's say that y is equal to negative x squared plus 4x plus 1. So this time, we have a quadratic function in standard form. Let's graph it using a data table. So the first thing we need to do is find the vertex. The x-coordinate of the vertex is negative b over 2a. It's very useful to use this equation if you have the quadratic function in standard form. b is the number in front of x, which is 4. a is the number in front of x squared. If you don't see one, it's a 1, but since we have a negative sign, it's negative 1. So negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2. So that's the x-coordinate of the vertex. Now, choose two x values to the right of 2 and 2 to the left. Now, let's plug in the vertex into this equation first. So negative 2 squared plus 4 times 2 plus 1. That's negative 4 plus 8 plus 1, which is 4 plus 1. That's 5. So that's the y coordinate of the vertex. Now, let's plug in 1. 1 and 3 will have the same y value, but it's easier to deal with 1 rather than 3. Negative 1 squared is negative 1. 4 times 1 is 4. Negative 1 and 1 cancel, so it's going to be 4. And that's going to be the same thing. Now, if we plug in 0, 0 squared is 0. 4 times 0 is 0 plus 1. The whole thing is 1. So that's what we're going to have. Now, we can go ahead and graph it at this point. So the vertex is at 2 comma 5. The next point is at 1 4 and we have one at 3 4 and then 0 1 and 4 1. And so we're going to get a nice symmetric graph. As long as we pick two points to the right of the vertex and two points to the left. Now the domain is going to be everything. Negative infinity to infinity. Go ahead and find the range, the axis of symmetry, and any maximum or minimum values. The range, let's see, the lowest y value for the range is negative infinity, and the highest is 5, which is the y coordinate of the vertex. So the range is from negative infinity to positive 5, and it includes 5, so we're going to put a bracket there. The axis of symmetry is the x coordinate of the vertex, which is 2. So it's x equals 2. And here it is. Now, because the graph opens downward, it's not going to have a minimum value. Rather, it's going to have a maximum value. The maximum value is the y coordinate of the vertex. So it's 5. And so that's it for this lesson.